Hey guys, Bonesaw here. Thanks so much for watching another Modern Warfare 2 weapon review. Today, we're going to be going over the Gustav 762, or the AK-47 for those who may not play Modern Warfare 2 and know the, the renames of all the weapons that they have. So the Gustav 762, or the AK-47, is one of the hardest hitting weapons in Modern Warfare 2. It is one of my favorite weapons actually to use in Modern Warfare 2, and that's just because the damage on this thing is absolutely insane. I mean, it just, it, there's nothing else that really matches with it, and it's absolutely insane. But today we're gonna be going over all the statistics about the AK-47, including like the aim down sight speed, the time to kill, and all the way to the, the reload speed and the uh, stuff like that. So, um, but anyways guys, here are the time frames or the video layout for you as well. So if you want to skip ahead, for sure do that. Uh, if you want to skip to certain parts of the video that you prefer, you prefer to skip or things you just don't want to listen to. So, but anyways, let's get to the review right away. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be looking at today is the Kastav 762 damage. So uh, depending on uh, the area that you hit in Call of Duty, it, it does more damage. So the Kastav 762 to the head, it does about three shots to kill, which means it does about 77 damage to the head or neck, which is marked with the red area with the character model to the right of the screen. Now, uh, most most guns are actually four shots to kill, which is, you know, it is, it is another bullet. Uh, in this case, but uh, actually in the Kastav 762, it's four shots to kill to the upper torso. So it's about 42 damage to anything above the kind of by the rib cage all the way to the neck. And that's about 42 damage. So it is a significant drop from the 77. But uh, if you if you're like me, I like to get headshots and I kill much, much quicker, obviously, if I'm going for the head, just because that's how the game works. But I'm also I'm much more accurate when it comes to headshots. So um, but yeah, that's just my 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 strategy. But anyways, and then there's the five shots to kill. That's to the lower torso. So that's everything from the rib cage all the way down. And that's 35 to the lower torso. So you can see I have the areas marked by the red, orange, and yellow. So that's that's the damage to every single part of the body. You can see here that is it is significantly different compared to other assault rifles. The Kostov just hits like a truck. And I mean, it hits hard. And so, so. but anyways, let's get on to the next, next few statistics. I can't speak today. So the next thing that we're going to be talking about for the Kostov 762 is the time to kill, the damage per second, and the rounds per minute. So you can see here, it does not rank the best at anything, uh, but time to kill, it's 194 milliseconds, and that ranks fifth among the assault rifles. And personally, I don't think this really matters for the Kostov 762 because it just hits like a truck. Uh, like I've said before, it just it has so much damage to it that it doesn't really matter in my opinion. And the damage per second is 432 damage per second, and that's fourth. Now compared to the the damage per second in the RPMs, which is 617 RPM, and that's ninth. That is second to last. The damage per second in the RPMs. I think the damage per second uh, with the RPMs it it cancels out. I mean the RPMs you're not you know you're not great, but the damage per second it is ranked in the top half and I think that really balances it out uh, but also when you use this weapon you will I mean don't get me wrong the ADS speed on this is not the fastest by any means but it just it, it, it hits hard I mean you guys uh, what you guys will won't be outgunned if you were the first to aim down your sights and from a distance this guy's not as bad as you would think it's it's I actually used it quite a bit from a distance and of course obviously to get a platinum you have to get long shot kills in one match of invasion, I this the best the best strategy for me was to get long shots was through invasion, and I think in one match I had 31 long shots, and that did not include AI kills, which is for me it worked. I mean it it was awesome. It was really easy for me to get platinum with this thing, but again this it just hits like a truck, and I think the DPS and the RPMs does cancel out in this scenario. The next area that we'll be talking about is the ADS speed, the full reload speed, and the attack reload speed. So you can see here, these are not near as bad as I thought they would be. The ADS speed is, is tied for fourth, and that's 250 milliseconds. Now, tied for fourth, I mean, that there's four of these assault rifles that are 250 milliseconds. So the ADS speed, it is pretty on par for most of the assault rifles, but again, Tied for fourth, I still think that's pretty good for the speed of what I'm used to from an AK-47 or the Kostav. Uh, but also the full reload speed, 2.6 seconds, so it is a little slower on that side, but 
uh, with the amount of bullets you have in a clip, it's about 30 default mag. And I, I personally, I don't think a bigger mag really helps you at all. I think if you hit all, if you hit four shots guaranteed to every person, you're bound to kill them really easily. And if you do the math, four bullets per person, that's seven people until you run out of ammo for that that mag. That leaves 28 bullets. Uh, that's 28 bullets that you just use a 30. 30 bullets so i think it works out i don't think the the full reload speed is a whole big issue the tag reload speed actually 2.15 seconds is tied for third and that's pretty good compared to a lot of the assault rifles it's faster than uh, a lot of the weapons that i thought would be slower than so the tag reload is actually much more strategic whenever i kill somebody with the ak-47 i usually give it about five seconds cooldown after i kill somebody then i try to find some cover reload real quick and then pop up shoot him shoot another person just because you know that's how the game works i always happen to catch myself though reloading at the worst times and i mean i tell you the worst times but you know that's just part of the game but anyways on to the review now now i know you're wondering what do i think of the Gustav 762 me personally i think this is probably an s tier assault rifle in modern warfare 2. I know a lot of people may disagree with that, a lot of people will agree with that. That is simply my opinion because the Gustav 762, it just, it has so much potential and if you really get the right loadout, you'll get a quick, quick class and you can improve the ADS speed, you can improve the, the recoil, you can improve anything you want on the weapon, but if you're looking for a specific thing, you just gotta get the right attachments. And for me, I, I care all about speed when it comes to Gustav 762. Now, my loadout will, no, no, it will not make a whole lot of sense to some people. But that's just simply my loadout. But my overall opinion of the Gustav 762 is that it is one of the best assault rifles that you could use. And it, you unlock it early on, which is really, really nice. And I think this is what been definitely worth using. I think this is something that it just, it simply has so much damage to it that it, it it cancels out a lot of its uh, negatives to it. Uh, it has a lot much more pros than it has cons. And one of the biggest pros, again, is just the damage. The damage is just, it's out, it outranks everything that I like to use. And I find myself just absolutely racking through the kills with this thing. I mean, I mow down so many enemies with this simple gun. And you'll see in one of the clips I have here, hopefully soon, but you see, I have a bunch of enemies, they're just cluttered in a door, and I killed them all with just 10 bullets. Or something like that, I don't, maybe that's an exaggeration. But overall, I think this is a great weapon. Let's go take a look at the loadouts, and see what I use for my specific classes. Alright, first things first, let's look at the attachments that I use for the Gustav 762. So you can see here, I don't use any optic. I usually, well this is kind of weird, I usually use an optic, but in this one, I find myself really enjoying the iron sight of the Gustav, so I actually don't use any optic at all. But the first things first, stock, I use the FT TAC Elite stock. Now, again, there's some there's some better ones. You can use the light stock. I can't remember the official name of it, but you can use the light stock. That's much quicker, but you do need to unlock that attachment from other weapons first. The next thing is the rear grip. This incre increases the aim down sight speed just a little bit, not a whole lot, but it decreases your, uh, your range just a tiny bit. Again, I don't think that really matters because the Gustav already has a decent range, but the bullets, the amount of bullets that you have too, it just doesn't really, it evens out, so uh, that's a pretty good grip. Grip, in my opinion, I don't use an extended mag. I think those 10 bullets extra you get from a 40 round mag are just simply not worth it. In a 20 round mag, I hate taking away ammo. I just hate it, and I, I don't like to do that, so I just, I don't even worry about it. Next thing is for an under barrel, I use the FSS Shark Fin Dindy. This increases your mobility or your. Yeah, your accuracy and your recoil control just a little bit. Uh, so it is, uh, I think there's other grips that you could use, but this one is one of my favorites to use. I don't like to use like a, a, one of those big grips that you have to, um, it takes away your, your mobility and especially your handling. If it increases my mobility, <coughs> excuse me, if it increases your mobility, then I think it's definitely worth using. The next thing is the SA Leveler 
55. I struggle to say that, I don't know why. But this increases your recoil control vertically and horizontally. I think that's super important vertically, especially because the Kastav, it does have a lot of vertical recoil. So I think this is one of the better muzzles that I like to use. Uh, another one is you could use a silencer. The silencers on this game, I don't know why, but they just seem so overpowered to me. I use this on a, my long range class. I usually show my long or my short range classes just because that's a standard um, classes that I normally use. So I. Yeah, so, but anyways, and then there's the barrel, the 342 millimeter second KL. And this is just my favorite barrel because, well, first off, it looks nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. But also, it is, in my opinion, one of the best barrels that you could possibly use. And it increases your aim down sight speed again. And it, it's all about speed, speed, speed when it comes to Kassav 762. Some of you may wonder why just not use the Kassav's, uh, seven, was it 74U or something like that? It's, it's simply, you know, the, this weapon, it just hits like a truck, and plus it has way better range in my opinion, so this is the gun I like to use. Um, but yeah, let's look at the, the loadout now too. Now for my loadout, I use uh, a kind of a weird loadout for this, but this is just this is just what works for me. So um, again, I use for a secondary, I use my custom Expedite one, um, and the reason why I use uh, a shotgun is just because I don't like to lug around something big, and it's simply just because I want I, when I need speed, if I need to run around somewhere really quick, I just switch to my Expedite, and I don't really use it a whole lot. As you can see, that's it's only level 16, so I barely even use it. Um, for tactical, I use the stun grenade just because it slows down movement and with the AK-47, I play very, very aggressive and when I go through a building flashing, uh, it was kind of opposite what I said uh, last week for last week's video. The stun grenade in this one I think is the best one because it keeps people's movement speeds so far down that the AK-47 is simply you can just quickly turn the corner, take them out, go to the next one, take them out. That way, it's all about speed when you kill people. And lethal, lethal is I just use a thermite. Thermite's pretty fun to use, actually. Uh, for me, it, it helps me get, uh, especially if I want to keep them in a certain area or a certain part of a room. Uh, I try to throw the thermite in there. That way, I can prevent the enemies from leaving that room so I can charge in there and have them just all camped into a corner, which is really, really helpful. So, and then for my perk package, obviously, I use the overkill. That's why I have the shotgun. The strong arm, the, the so helpful for a thermite. When I need to throw a thermite um, and I'm aiming from a distance, the thermite is so useful with strong arm. So it makes it very, very useful. Spotter, that's just because I'm constantly aiming down my sights with the Kastav and sometimes I can't kill the people from a distance, but at least I'm highlighting the enemies for teammates. And I also use Ghost just because with how aggressive I play with the, the Kastav, I I just have to be careful. I don't want people picking me up with their UAVs or their portable radars or you know junk like that. So I don't I don't like to um, I quick you could do quick fix quick fix I use quite a bit, but for this class I find myself using Ghost quite a bit as well. Um, and then for a field upgrade I use portable radar. You could use Dead Silence. A Dead Silence is another good one, um, but portable radar that's just in case uh, I need to be wary of behind me. So I'll throw that, if I'm charging towards a certain part of the map, I'll throw it behind me, get run to that part of the level, and then I'll just make sure that there's no enemies that are coming from behind me. But also, but yeah, just trying to make sure I watch my back and just be wary of that as well, so. Anyways guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. It truly means a lot for you guys to watch my video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe below and also comment what you want to see next. Next video we're going to be going over, uh, I believe if I remember right, the order is the STB or something like that. Honestly, I can't remember the name. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next week for a W2 review. Thanks guys.